Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to pass parameter or variable value to the mapping data flow in Azure Data Factory and use in different transformations such as the drive column or other ones. So this is very important and it's very helpful actually. And uh, this is, uh, I was very excited to learn about this feature. So first of all, what we are going to do here, we are going to create a data flow. And then in the data flow, we will use uh, uh, parameters from the local data flow tab and then uh, we will pass those values from the pipeline to those parameters so it's going to be uh, first uh, you're going to create the parameters inside your data flow and then uh, we, when we call our data flow in the pipeline then we'll pass those values there so let's go ahead and uh, first of all we are adding a source here and uh, what i have in source i'm going to show you my blob storage and in my blob storage i have that uh, input container so in the input container right there i have a csv called the uh, total sale so that's what we'll use and then uh, we will uh, just add a couple more columns uh, in derived column and just uh, write to the output uh, container so let me delete this uh, now output container does not have any data or files uh, now here uh, i'm mean, going to create uh, our data set uh, that will be reading from blob storage and it's going to read uh, the csv file uh, click next and here uh, we will create the new link service uh, it's going to ask you your subscription and then storage. So in my case, it's tech browser storage. Test the connection and then all good. Now we will navigate to the file. It is in the input container and I can take this file, total sale Asia CSV file. Now it has header. So I just click on that part. Import schema is fine from there. Now from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create two parameters. So click right there anywhere in the blank uh, canvas. Once you click here, it's uh, going to show you these two tabs, the parameters and settings. I'm going to go to the parameter and click new. And uh, here I will say DF parameter. And the value I'm going to provide uh, is uh, something like uh, this is my DF parameter value. Okay. And then uh, I will create another uh, parameter that will, I will call it DF uh, parameter and accept a variable value okay uh, just uh, because i want to put uh, for in this parameter i will uh, map to the pipeline parameter and this one i will map to the uh, pipeline uh, variable so that's why i'm giving just two different names um, so you can see you know uh, kind of make a difference here this is my parameter uh, data flow um, parameter which will accept variable value okay one day okay so now we have saved these values here and what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and add and here i will go to the drive column in the drive column i'm adding two more columns one i will call it df parameter and then other one i will call it df parameter val variable so df parameter underscore variable Okay, so now we are providing the expressions here in this parameter. I'm going to go right there and I'm going to use uh, the parameters here. So remember there are two parameters we created and one uh, parameter is called df parameter. So I'm going to use for this column and uh, then uh, for the df parameter variable column, I'm going to use uh, this uh, parameter. So if you see right there, as of now, I'm in the data flow, I created two parameters on main data flow and then I use the drive column and use those uh, parameter values to create two columns here and now I can simply go ahead and say sync and in this sync we will write to the blob storage as well and we will go to the CSV file and here we will go to the same link service so it was a storage 9 now I navigate to the output container and here we are going to hit OK and yes, would like to have a header and then uh, I'm going to go to settings here, select single file. Once you do that, it's going to ask you the name. So I'm going to call this one uh, uh, mapping parameter demo dot CSV. OK, so our uh, data flow is all set uh, and uh, now I can go to the pipeline here and create a new pipeline. In this pipeline, uh, I'm going to use the data flow here. 
and uh, in the data flow I'm gonna call this uh, data flow one um, go to settings select your data flow one as of now we did not do any parameter in the pipeline so I'm gonna go ahead and debug my data flow so it has uh, the parameters which are created inside the data flow if you remember and those are the values we use in the drive column so we are creating those uh, just uh, CSV file uh, with extra columns and uh, those column values are coming from the data flow parameter values. So let it finish. So now our data flow is completed and let's go ahead and take a look on the output folder and here is our output file. It should have two extra columns that we generated from the parameter values in the data flow. So let me take you right there and if you guys remember we created a DF parameter column and we were saying this is my DF parameter value. Now the other one we were saying uh, this is a parameter from the data flow but uh, we will eventually map to the variable. So this is the extra column we created in the data flow. And that value for this one is uh, what we will have put in the data flow. So that looks cool and uh, we are all good how to create the parameters inside the data flow and use them. Now as uh, you can see that uh, data flow has to be called uh, in the pipeline and uh, when you click on this canvas here in the pipeline uh, you see these parameters as well uh, and you see variables um, so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna create our parameter and I'm gonna call this parameter my uh, pipeline parameter okay so this is my pipeline parameter and uh, I'm going to give some value so this is in um, mapping my pipeline line to data flow parameter okay so that's the value I give so this value I want to pass uh, to the uh, data flow parameter also I'm going to create our variable and I'm going to say this one pipeline underscore variable and uh, the value I'm saying I'm going to say I am a variable from pipeline okay and also actually for parameter we can say something like that I am parameter from pipeline so we should see these values in the file it will help us uh, if the value has been passed correctly now we go to data flow and inside the data flow there are parameters tab so see we are in the pipeline and I have been calling my data flow and I have created two uh, one variable and one parameter in the pipeline now in the data flow if you guys remember there are data flow parameters that we have created these guys we are gonna map them now go to pipeline back and go to parameters and here you are seeing the values of parameters of data flow. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right there and you have a pipeline expression or data flow expression. So currently it is the data flow expression, that's where the values are coming. But now I'm going to change to the pipeline expression. In the pipeline expression, remember this is my DF parameter, so data flow parameter, and this being used in drive column. So I'm going to map the value of my pipeline parameter. So I'm, I did that and hit OK. Now the pipeline parameter is going to provide the value to the data flow, and then inside the uh, drive column it will be used. Now here I'm going to click again, go to pi uh, pipeline expressions, and here I'm going to use a variable from my pipeline and map to the data flow parameter so it's done as well and now we should be all good we are not making any other changes we are going to go ahead and debug now this is a, a pipeline parameter if you need to make some changes or provide different values here you can do it so i'm not going to do anything like that what's going to happen so this is the flow you are uh, happening so you have this pipeline where you have a variable and you have a parameter so these values are passed uh, to the data flow parameters uh, and then uh, they are used uh, in the different uh, transformations such as drive column or other uh, you know transformation you would like to use. Uh. So first of all you always will create your uh, data flow with parameters and uh, then uh, eventually uh, you will uh, when you call that data flow in the pipeline at that time uh, you will uh, create your variables or parameters in the pipeline and map them. Uh, on the data flow parameter tab here so our data flow has been completed successfully let me to go back here refresh my file and uh, if we go right there go to edit and we can preview now and go all the way on the right side and you can see that I am a parameter from pipeline and this is saying I'm a variable from the pipeline this is just uh, 
when I'm doing preview, it's showing you all those percentages for white spaces. So I just leave that back to it. So remember, this was DF parameter, and uh, now I'm saying that I'm parameter from the pipeline. See, that's the value I have provided in my pa pipeline parameter and map to the data flow parameter. Then uh, I have a variable, and uh, that value has uh, I'm a variable from pipeline, and that I have mapped to the uh, data flow parameter this was used in the drive column and then find written to the file so this is how you will uh, create uh, the parameters in data flow and then uh, map them to the variable or parameter in the pipeline i hope this video is helpful we are going to have another real time scenario where we are going to deal with surrogate keys and get the max surrogate key from the table or ID and then pass uh, to the data flow and add uh, next uh, IDs to it. So uh, watch that video, it will be very helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.